hey, you know it's always a good day when you get a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. But first, we're gonna be installing the backsplash behind me, and it's a peeling stick. Yeah, well, we're gonna find out how it well it works, because that's what's next. Well, I was checking out some stuff online the other day, and I was looking through a group I'm in, and in that group, all kind of people were like, I don't trust peel and stick and I don't do this. And I'm like, well, I did it and it lasted five years and I had to rip it down and it was still stuck. Well, at the same time, a lot of people were talking about this gray interior and saying, man, you really need a splash of color. And I said, oh baby, it's coming. So this is it. This is the splash of color. So it's grays and blacks with a blue. Now, originally when I went to Lowe's and I did this backsplash a long time ago, I figured out I needed like six or eight or eight pieces and they were like, ten dollars a piece it ended up costing me about 60 80 bucks well hunting around online i found these 3d ones like this online i got 10 of them for 30 dollars so i ordered two packs cost me about 68 dollars with tax i think it was 20 of these things and they're one by one squares and they're gonna go all around this backsplash and as a bonus i'm talking about doing possibly a coffee bar here so i'm probably gonna carry it to there this is going to be my splash of color in here. I'm gonna be able to use that to match a couple of other blue accents in here. And I think it's gonna work fantastic. So if you've ever wanted to install a backsplash, here we go. And let me be completely honest. The only thing you're gonna really need is a nice brand spanking new razor blade. So we're gonna start probably on the bottom and I'm gonna line up along the edge with this little piece. That way it gives me something to press against and cut down and I'll be able to cut it right along the edge. I did wipe down the wall, but I didn't wipe down the table. So let me wipe down the table real fast. Because if you get some stuff behind the sticker, it might cause a lump or it might cause air bubbles or it might cause something to show up in the final result. And this stuff's pretty simple. It's called peel and stick for a reason. You kind of peel it and then you stick it. Right out of the box, I'm gonna look at this stuff and I'm gonna tell you, this isn't quite as thick as the Lowe's stuff that I paid $8 a sheet for. Um, this stuff's a little thinner, but it'll probably make it easier to cut. So now we just have to get another piece and out of scraps and trim up up here. But that took one, two, three, four, five, six, just six sheets and that's covered. Uh, I'm gonna patch up here with some extras and then I'm gonna go around the corner and do this one because this is gonna be my coffee bar. So we're gonna fix up this counter, get rid of these cords, figure out what we're gonna do with these guys, stick them down in the bottom or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. But then I wanna be able to put a coffee pot right here and then up above is gonna be all my storage for my coffee because I am a freaking coffee drinker. So by the way, this panel right here, that took me about 10, 15 minutes. Once I got this first piece cut, these three took about eight minutes, the next, six or so or the next four took me probably only about five or six minutes and i've decided that i'm going to take the two scraps that i got from that end and that's what's going to start this one off and then cut off whatever i need and i haven't decided if i'm going to do this side panel i probably will just go ahead and finish it off so let's take off this piece of scrap here and we'll throw it on the floor don't do that we're going to come right here and I'm going to overshoot it just a hair so I can cut off any messed up spots. Well, it's not easy, but once you get it going, it is. There, Take that off. Underneath here, we're going to cut right inside this board. Like so. Push it up for as far as it needs to go. And then I'm cutting out. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna be able to see these holes behind it, so I'll be able to cut them out in a second. You see the side that has this extra bit of white on it? Always peel from that side, because if you peel from the other side down here where it's jaded, it will tear. Now, it's easy to fix if it tears, but it, you don't, I mean, if you don't have to tear it, then don't tear it. Oh, and I'm interrupting this whole video to say, one of the most important things to me is to, for people to leave comments. So my question of the day is, tell me in the comments what I should do with this cabinet up here. I can do anything I want up there. I want some creative ideas from you guys 
to tell me what I should do up there. Now I should be able to take my blade and just make a nice little happy cut up here. I know that looks crazy, but for two years I worked for a printing company and we use razor blades every single day to cut straight lines. And you kind of just learn how to bump up against something and run right through that sucker. Once you get some faith in it and some trust in it, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm kind of excited and if you're worried about it, uh, you'll see this throughout the next couple of months and years and whatever. As far as ever I'm doing in this camper, you'll see this. And this blue I'm going to carry out throughout the whole camper as my accent color as a pop of color because all of this gray and black can get a little dark so we're going to use different colors of blue to shade it in there we go all the way around the corner so coffee pot will go here sink and then i can have all my extra storage here everything is done all my coffees and fun stuff will be up here in this cabinet up here to hold my coffee cups and whatever else I need. So now we gotta talk about what's next and it's these horrible, horrible, horrible countertops. And then this counter and then this counter and then that counter. And then you can also see where we actually got some paint on this black one. So we just went ahead and paint, painted black around the stove. But it kinda looks like crap and I can't stand it. So we're gonna make some countertops and we're going to match the floors. I'm gonna go ahead and try to match that gray with the wood texture on the countertops because this tan has got to go. 50 Shades of Gray Mobile, not tan. Hey, and this is Trippin' with Jeff, and I'm just addicted to traveling, exploring, doing everything, cameras. I love it all. I thank all of you for subscribing. We're getting really close to 1600, and you know, I'm in a race with another guy to 2000, so if you share or anything like that, it would be much appreciated. And I'm looking to be living in this camper in the next couple of months. So stick with me and you're gonna get to see every piece of this as I do it and every place I travel to and go tripping. That's what it's all about for me. I appreciate it. It's insane. I gotta go do something else. Let's go find out what's next. Later.